What is up everyone? My name is Sabs and today I am bringing you a bunch of NES games and a couple of other things. Welcome to the Hall of the Month of August 2017. So starting today off, a friend of mine, he was actually cleaning out his attic at his parents' place and he found a whole stack of NES games. So he offered them to me as like a like a bundle deal and of course I, I fucking grabbed them because there, there are actually some great titles here. And um, a couple of titles that I'm actually missing in my collection. Now these four right here, Super Mario, Super Mario 3, Chippendale and DuckTales, I already have those. So let's put them to the side and let's take a look at what I got from him. So starting this little pile off, I actually got one of my favorite puzzle games, Bobble Bobble. And the card is in a very, very good condition. I mean, look at this thing. It's it's. I'd say it's it's freaking perfect. So I'm really happy about this one, and since it's one of my favorite puzzle games, it's a great addition to my collection. Next up, we've got Bigfoot for the NES. Now, this is a game that I actually haven't played, but I've actually looked it up, and it looks like a lot of fun. You, uh, It's one-on-one -on -one monster truck racing from a top-down perspective, where you actually pick up power-ups and such, and you can like hurt each other, and the goal is to get to uh, the finish line before your component does. And it looks like a lot of fun. There's even a two-player mode, which, uh, which I'm actually looking forward to try, so this here is a great addition to my collection. And uh, when, when we look at the cart, there's only a couple of things wrong. I mean, the little sticker right on the front here, a sticker on the top right here, the little sticker right there, but all of that is manageable to uh, remove, so I'm pretty happy about this one. Moving on, we got Tiny Toon Adventures, and uh, this is a game that I actually played on the Game Boy when I was younger, so it will be a lot of fun to take a look at its 8-bit rendition of, uh, of this game. Now, this is a classic platformer where you jump on enemies, you pick up power-ups, and all that good stuff. So, uh, great addition to my collection, and I mean, the only thing wrong with this card is that the sticker has gotten a little loose up here, but that's nothing, if you ask me. Now, this thing actually gets a little bit of this jitter also, but like, eh, it's, it's still fine, and it, it's still a great addition to my collection. So next up in this little pile of games that I acquired, we got Wrath of the Black Mamba. And this is a game that I actually haven't tried that much. I, I only think I got as far as the first boss, which was actually a really cool overblown uh, in proportion sprite, which I actually liked. But other than that, it, it kind of feels like a cheap knockoff of Ninja Gaiden. The cart, though, it's it's got some stickers on it and a little bit of flaking on the label up here and a sticker on the side, but all that is pretty manageable and uh, eh, it's another addition to my collection, so... I'll, I'll take it. And uh, it wouldn't be a haul of the month if there weren't any Amiibos. So for this month I actually acquired the uh, Pikmin Amiibo for the new Pikmin game on the 3DS. So uh, let's get him in out, out of the box. There we go, out of the box, and I actually couldn't pass this one up. I thought it was really cute with all the uh, different Pikmins hurtled around this little rock formation here, the black one hiding back here and the pink one just sitting there, and the three originals hurtled up on the rock right there. And I, I really think this is a great and cute looking amiibo, and uh, I think it will look great up there next to Olimar on my amiibo shelf. Now, like I said, this was released for the 3DS game, and this is actually a game that I don't have, so uh, I might be looking into getting that so I can actually use this amiibo. Oh, it's getting freaking warm in here. Let's get this one out. Oh, there we go. So, moving on to the last game of the day, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. Now, this is a series that I haven't played that much, and I got really intrigued when I saw what they showed on E3 this year with the new Kirby game coming out, and, uh, I mean, why not start from the beginning on the first game? So, uh, look forward to that. I would most definitely be playing this on the channel later, because I've never played this. I know, that's almost blasphemous, but I mean, it's, it's a good time as any right now, so, uh, look forward to this one. And, let's see, last thing for the day. My girlfriend actually was nice enough because I've been complaining that it's a lot of dark in my couch because it's a black couch and I have black pillows and that's a lot of dark. 
So she actually got me these really cool looking pillows. So uh, keep an eye out in the background of the, the upcoming Let's Play videos. And you'll probably be seeing a lot of cool pillows in the background. I, I actually got really happy from these. They, I didn't expect them at all. And it was an early birthday present. So uh, happy Sebs. <laughs> And that was all of the items for today. I thank you all for watching this month's Haul of the Month, and uh, I will see you all in the next video. Peace out. Mm -hmm.